So I just finished doing a video on my approach to making acoustic covers. And one of the things I talk about is the importance of being able to hear what all the different instruments are doing in a song. Today, I'm gonna to show you a tool that you might find helpful if you don't have that much experience doing that. It's called La La Lai, and basically what it does is it analyzes the audio with artificial intelligence, and it can extract different instruments for the mix so you can make your own stems. Now, I've been playing guitar for a while, and ever since I started, I try to learn songs by ear. And back then I used to use different tricks, like I pan the music left or right so I could hear different instruments better. I used to have this old boom box, which had a karaoke button. Basically what it did is it tried to take out the vocal so you could sing along. But a lot of times it would do some weird stuff, like it would make the guitar sound really loud or take out the drums, stuff like that. So it would, you know, give me another perspective on the mix and I'd be able to hear things that I normally wouldn't hear. So doing that kind of stuff really helped me develop my ear and to be able to listen to all the different elements in a mix. And you know, with time, I've gotten better at it. I don't need that much trickery to be able to do it anymore, but it really helps when you're developing your ear to use different tools and methods to help you break it down. So with this kind of stuff that's out there now, it's even easier. So I just wanted to show you La La Lai so you can have another tool to help you out in this process. Just to be clear, this is a sponsored video. La La Lai contacted me to make a video about their app. I just checked out the tool and I thought it'd be really useful for you. With that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so the app is actually pretty simple. You get this page and you upload any track you want. I'm gonna be working with songs from my band, Hacienda Libre, just to avoid any copyright issues. So let's upload a track real quick. Wait, let's go back. This is actually the first page you start with. And let's select the file. All right, so it's analyzing it. This is a song called Sophisma. And here's the original, so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, and then after you upload it, you get a little preview here. And let's see, we can hear the vocal by itself. You can get the little echo there. And then this is the instrumental track. So then if you like what you hear, then you can process the entire file and you can download the whole thing. The two, you got two independent tracks, the vocal and the instrumental. I mean, that's really useful if you're a singer and you want to have backing track to practice with but you can do it with any of the instruments let's do it with the drums start here all right and without the drums As far as learning songs, one of the things I find useful is, let's say I want to understand what the guitars are doing. The obvious thing would maybe be take out the electric guitar like this. There we go. That actually works really well. You can really hear the guitars clearly there. But another approach would be maybe take out an element that's really dominant in the mix, and that would kind of open up the mix and allow you to hear 
a lot more stuff than you normally would. In this case, this song has a really prominent bass line. So let's see what happens if we take out the bass. All right. See now, just by taking the bass, all of a sudden you hear the guitars clearly, you hear the vocals clearly, and you can hear the synth, which is really low in the mix. So that's really a cool way to hear different elements in the mix. You can really play around with that. Depending on the song, taking out different instruments will have a different effect. And the cool thing here is you can preview it. You can try different things, take out different instruments and see how that affects the track. And when something works for you, then you can download the whole thing. Let me try another song. I'm going to open another one called Peligro, which means danger. See what it sounds like without the bass. You can still hear a little of the bass there, but but here also the bass is really busy, so when you take it out, it opens up the mix. This one also has a really busy drum track, so let's try taking out the drums and see what it does. <laughs> That's another way of definitely being able to listen to different things. Depending on what you're trying to hear, you can take out different instruments. So yeah. That's the basic idea. Um, let's process this entire file just as you can see how the whole process is. It's going to split the entire file. And then when it's ready, here, you can download them all. And that's that. And you get a zip file with both tracks. Or you can download each one by itself. All right, so that's the basic idea. I think it's a really cool app. Um, if you want to get into this whole acoustic arranging thing, and you want to work on listening to the different instruments, this can be really helpful. It's free to try. They give you up to 10 minutes uh, of music to download, but you can preview as many tracks as you want. So you can just upload songs, try different uh, extraction methods, take out different instruments, see what works best, and then download the whole track when you find out what works for you. Hey, when I was filming this, I forgot to mention that they also have a referral program. 
So if you can get other people to sign up through your referral link, you can also get free minutes that way. All right, back to the other thing. After that, you can get a pack for 15 bucks, which gives you 90 minutes, which is a lot. That's like, I don't know, 20 songs or the $30 one, which gives you 300 minutes. So I think that's really reasonable pricing. So yeah, that's it. Hope you found the tool useful. Um, I think it's really cool, really practical. This whole AI stuff has really changed the game from back when I started. So check it out. Link is in the description. And see you next time. Bye.